Where have you gone? Where have you gone, you dick? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing down there? <laughs> <laughs> oh I don't my know. god. I just thought it would annoy you and that tickled me. You all right, son? <laughs> I am. You're not, though, are you? What's up? I'm knackered, mate. I'm just. I, do you know when you, you are? Have, I've had a few days of it and I'm, I live on energy, mean. If I've not got energy, I just can't be bothered. And, you know, I'm not <laughs> nice to be around. I don't want to talk to anyone. I just want everyone to go away. So when I'm, I'm looking for, I'm looking forward to this then. <laughs> yeah. So why don't you fuck off and make me feel better? No, uh, it's more about I don't know. I just I'm, I'm, I've not been sleeping great. I've been waking up in the middle of the night. I've been dreaming loads about my dad, which is weird. Um, just oh really? But, yeah, just it's his birthday coming up, and then it's his. Obviously, it was last April he, he passed away. So it's weird how things subconsciously I've, I must be in my mind, and I don't know they're there. Mm. And I'm waking up, and then I'm not getting back to sleep for hours. Then when I do get back to sleep. Your alarm goes off, and then you've had like three hours kit. So, to be honest, yeah. I'm not I'm not feeling the best. My missus has got some sort of bit of a bug, so she's all sleepy. So whether I've got a bit of that, I don't think so. I think it's just tiredness, mate. To be fair, How well, are you, you work you grafting hard, though, aren't you? I mean, you, pre- people probably don't know this, but you told me that you're not um, because of coronavirus. You know, you can't. It's too dangerous to to or it's considered too risky to travel on the train backwards yeah. and forwards to Manchester for um, Corrie. So you're driving up and down there every time, which obviously takes its uh, takes its toll fatigue wise so yeah it's just yeah the drive man you know it's too much man you know if you go back and forward in a day oh you're just like autopilot viewers or listeners might not realise that you know schedule wise chances are you're not necessarily going up there for two three days at a time and doing it could be that you're only in one scene right or you're only in two scenes yeah so you drive up there you get up at 7 a.m you drive up there you work for an hour and a half you drive back again now there'll be people going that sounds great i'd love to work for an hour and a half <laughs> yeah. but the, you know the, but the drive does take its you know it, it ties you out it takes its toll eventually right well yeah whether it's that it's not i mean because i do stay over it's, i don't know what it is i just don't feel 100 percent. usually i'm you know what i mean i'm like a I'm like a Duracell bunny, you know what I mean? I'm bouncing off the walls. But today, I'm just a bit flagged. And I, and I went to bed early. I didn't have a lot to drink. I had a glass of wine and then went to bed. And some, I woke up four in the morning, could get back to sleep. Then I feel a bit... And then I, I did a workout this morning trying to give myself some energy. And that took all the energy I've got left. So so you're getting what? the dregs, Ralph. You're getting the dregs Yeah, now. thanks. So, yeah. <laughs> what what workout did you do? Just just muscles, really. I don't do any... I didn't do any running today. I just did arms. Just muscles. Talk me through the muscle workout arms, that you did. Che- just just yeah, the arms, arms, chest and shoulders, know, upper body. I want to know what, what, what the upper body... What did it entail? Well, Hammer press curls, ups, dumbbell weights, curls, Yeah, press dumbbells. Ups. Just dumbbell, dumbbells and chairs is all I use. I do dips between chairs... And uh-huh. dumbbells from my shoulders and my arms. How, how many it. sets? How many? How many reps? Until I can't be bothered anymore. I don't even count. Them. <laughs> so I don't even count. About them. three. About three. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. I, I always tick over just because I have to. Because I, ne- you know, the, the vanity's never left me. And you look, you walk past Mate, the mirror and you go, "Yeah, I need to do a we bit." Used to, <laughs> we used to years before I'd even seen a gym or bothered to ever go into one. Years before, we used to do two pints, and in the room, I don't know if you remember this, in the rehearsal room, <laughs> lifting the bar. <laughs> of course, I remember it. You're such a dick. There's something we to think, do. They think, go, oh, okay, so we'll go for that again. Is everybody ready? And you'd go, hold on, wait a sec, and you'd be lifting up a chair like this. <laughs> Yeah. Like an absolute bell. Listen, don't tell me about bells. I saw a picture you posted of yourself with a Superman curl on your head. What was that? <laughs> From me. Can I add? Yeah. You said, this is my lockdown body. You sent me that three years ago when you had a personal trainer. So don't give me that as my lockdown we, body. We, 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 we know it's not like that, that now. No, we can't talk about that, though, because uh, Callum, the... Um, Callum at the viral group fucked up that posting because he didn't realise the timing. I said to him, this is my first like gym thing that I did. So yeah. post that and then we can do like a progression thing during yeah. lockdown. And he fucked up the posting. So now everybody thinks that's current. So now I can't do a before and after. He's completely <laughs> fucked me on it. So we can't even, we can't even, uh, uh, oh, well. we have to cut that bit out. Yeah. Yeah, well, okay. So yeah, I remember. Can I just oh, ask you, one question be- uh, yeah. before we go yeah. any further? Why are you wearing painter's overalls? <laughs> what does this look like a thing? You're like braces. It only goes, on, Tommy. It only goes this oh, far. all right. All right. Now I get it. You see, I thought Wait, it was like paint overalls or you were like rock on Tommy braces. Is that all the rage in no. Florida now? This is, this is an English uh, company. This is called Farrah Field, a sustainable small English company. It's really, really cool. You look like braces. Knitted, I, love a, I love a knitted polo, me. 
I think oh. knitted polos are oh, really over the, like Italian, Italian style knitted polos. How is it? It's great. Mm. Absolutely great. Oh my God. I'm just looking at a giant eagle that's just flying past me with a fish. There you go. How weird can is that? I, that's my you know what? Can I just mention something that I saw about you that I actually did find hilarious? I mean, Mrs. Showman, <laughs> that, that frog jumping on your face in the middle of the night. Mate. <laughs> Mate. On my face, I went like that. I was like, you know how you said before about how you're not sleeping that great. I was sort of still in that, in that half like half sleep, half wake state, and I just felt this cold, slimy thing go. I was up and down. Lindsay, Lindsay, like that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I thought there was a burglar. It was mate, horrendous. On my face though. I don't mind frogs, but not that. Yeah, no, no, no. I remember when we went to South Africa, remember I stood on one, it went between my toes in the middle of the night. Remember when I had that bat in my room when we were doing that thing in South Africa? Oh, yeah. Well, I got, not only did I have a bat in my room, I got up in the middle of the night and stood on something that was like a big piece of snot between my toes and it was a frog. I didn't kill it. It sort of went between my toes. One of them red eye (laughs) ones that you see when you go to Rainforest Cafe on the walls. One of them ones. (laughs) I Mate, like, I've oh. still got a video. I've never posted it anywhere, but after this podcast, when this goes out and people listen to this so that they know what we're talking about, I'm going to post the um, the video I've got of you going, there's a bat in my room! I fall asleep! <laughs> there's a bat! It was a, it was a classic <laughs> Will Miller rant, whinging about a bat this big. Whinging? Yeah, definitely. Whinging? Good night, everybody. Whinging. Good night. You're all in your posh accommodation. <laughs> Send me down to something near the lake on my own. It was called like, it was like the honeymoon suite. Sounds lovely. In the daytime, beautiful. At night, terrifying. Terrifying <laughs> thatch roof. Everything can get in when it feels like it. You're asleep. Everything and then coming ba- out of the thatch. A bat flew past my head when I was getting in bed. And then how are you supposed to rest with a bat flapping around your head? Piss that off. I was sat there like that, oh, terrified. My torch on my phone. Yeah. Anyway, right. What, what are you drinking? Get, I'm gonna get. What am I drinking? What are you drinking first? First uh, and foremost. First well, forward. guess what? I'm not telling you. You'll never not know. telling me. We still not got okay. a sponsor. So you got a beer. Well, um, these guys are never going to sponsor us anyway because this is a Floridian beer. But right. I'm drinking a bottle of Funky Buddha local brewery. So Funky it's one Buddha. Of the ones that, we used to go to a club called like got me for uh, for a gift. Do you remember Funky yeah, we Buddha did, in yeah. London? I don't even know if it's still still around. Right, here we go. No, I don't know. Oh yeah, Tuesday nights, wasn't it? Oh yeah, oh, no, Tuesday or Thursdays <laughs> it was. There we go. Can't remember. Well, uh, cheers, Tuesday, mate. Thursday, Funky Buddha. Why do we remember that? Don't know. Mate, get a bigger head on that. I like <laughs> a big head. Before we cheers, before we cheers. What? what? I got something to tell you. What? We have had, I've just been texted by the by our producer to say that in the course of while we're doing this podcast, we finally ticked over 1 million downloads of our podcast. Woo! That Woo! is worth it, cheers. cheers. Thank you, everybody. Cheers. Thank and you very much. 35, 35 million views of the videos overall across all channels. Oh, my God. That's huge. I know. And we've still not got a beer sponsor, you tight bastards. And we bastards. still haven't got a beer sponsor. <laughs> Mate, just me and you talking bollocks. Come on, funky butter, Cheers. Florida. Yeah, <laughs> Cheers, come on, mate. whatever well this beer is. Cheers, mate. Nice one. Well done. Well done to well everyone involved. Hmm. Let's hope this beer gives me a bit of a livener up. I'm sure it will. Mate, I just saw what beer it was. Oh, shit. Keep it below the camera. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, I forgot. Bit lax. <laughs> yeah, so well done, mate. And thank you to everyone for listening and supporting us. We're, um, yeah, that's, man. That's incredible. Absolutely Amazing. Incredible. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. I'm glad. Hey, and listen, the response as well to Joe Tresini's pod was just unbelievable, oh, yeah. uh, which we knew in a way I thought it would be because I've got my faith in the general public. There's obviously a few dickheads out there, but mostly people are understanding and I think they appreciated what Joe was saying, and it was amazing how honest he was. And uh, yes, just I think it was a, a great pod. Yeah, so, he was. Yeah. He got. He was in touch with me. We <clears throat> exchanged a couple of texts. So I just said, you know, thank you. And he, um, he was saying to me, there's not not a been a single negative comment. That's good. Um, which is which is credit to um to the people that listen to us because people who listen to us seem to be good guys and girls. So thank you, everybody. Yeah, um, I mean, and, yeah, we're um, free speaking and we uh, we say what we mean. Yeah. And yeah, and uh, hopefully, yeah, I'm just really glad people got behind it. And we're spreading the word about yeah. mental illness, illness and BPD, which people didn't know, probably know about. <laughs> and and um, growing up with a lisp as well. That's a difficult well, thing for people. Mental illness. <laughs> mental illness. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> we'll me, yeah. Start a charity for that too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Um, I was another, another little thing that happened this week. Uh, it was brought to my attention that you were favourites to be on Strictly Come Dancing this year. What? I've not heard this. Why? Is, it, why? Well, is that why you got braces on? Are you getting prepared? <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, get, I'm getting ready for me waltz. <laughs> I know, honestly, it popped up. Uh, and someone said, oh, is it true? And I went, what? He said, Ralph apparently is number one favourite to be... To be, to be on Strictly this year. And I was like, I'll speak to him and ask him. Are you, are you, are you coming well, over to, to put your dancing shoes on? The answer on, is <laughs> no. Is it bollocks true? <laughs> no. Oh no. God, that's what I when, said. When would I, when would I do it anyway? I'm, I'm, back in, I'm back in Guadeloupe for five months. Like, oh, are, you, are you going back out there? Yeah, I mean, I'm signed up for the next series, so I'm back out. Well, I mean, they don't know the date yet, but uh, we would normally go out in April. Uh, but because of COVID, we don't know. Last year, we went out in July, which was really late. So, I mean, we'll probably try and aim for somewhere between the two, but I don't know. Yeah, that's good. I might not even make it back to England before I go. Well, you better add. Why? Because <laughs> I want to. Because well, well, we've got stuff we can do. You know what I mean? I'd like to take this on tour at some point. I'd like to go actually see people. Well, that, do you know what it's like? This this lockdown thing. This lockdown thing for me. Do you know what it's like when you need to go to the toilet? Right, either number one or two, and you think I can hold it, but the closer you get to the toilet, it starts coming out, and that's what it's like for lockdown for me. The close, the closer I'm getting to getting out of lockdown, the more I'm getting agitated. I'm like, it's only, it's, it, they said it's only a few weeks away before we can start going into gardens and seeing more people. I can't wait to go and see people. I'm like, you know, me, me and you together in the room doing this or doing something. I, I'm looking forward to that. So I hope you come back over to do that. Is this just a long-winded way of you say, saying to me that you've started pissing yourself and you need your prostate examined? Because <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's a whole story that I'd like to hear. <laughs> you know what I mean, though. You know what I mean? When you're on a motorway no, and you've got a services, is 25 miles where you think I can hold it. When you get to one mile, you're bursting at the seams because you, you, st- <laughs> you started to release the tap a little bit. You're thinking, I'm nearly there. And the body knows it. And that's the same what's what I feel about with lockdown. It's like... Because you knew it was a long way away, you sort of dealt with it. But now it's round the corner, releasing the. I'll tell you what. If if we if there was any version, I mean, you know, doing a tour depends if we could because we we might be locked down. But if we're not locked down and there's some version of like a way that we can go around and do this on the road in front of a live audience, that would be great for. Oh, actually, in fact, if anyone if anyone listening to this would would be up for coming and doing this, I don't know, like theatre in pubs or something in a live audience. Then, then let us know, and that might that might help us to know whether it's worth some, something that we can that we can make happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll be yeah, up no, for that. Definitely, totally. we've got to do something. You know what I mean? I'm, it's just God. I think that's what's getting to me as well. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's starting to get to me now. This lockdown, like it really is. I mean, done the yeah. best we can, but Jesus Christ, you know what I mean? I used to look forward to Saturday nights. Now it's just another day. You know, it's, I, today yeah. we're recording it on a Saturday. News there go right. We'll do this. or we'll do that. And now it's just just another day. Just another yeah, day, so weekends just turning well, might as well be Wednesday. That's that's why I'm haven't been in any massive rush to come home. To be honest, yeah. <laughs> like, I suppose you're not even you locked know, down out there, are you? Not really. I mean, they should be, but they're not. So fine, whatever. I just sort of go about my day, take the dog for a walk, yeah. and, and so on and so on. But I've got that that bit of freedom that I'm lucky to have that you guys don't. Um, yeah, yeah. what else um, we should mention? Manscaped, uh, of course. Uh, oh yes, thank you to, for for sponsoring us. Um, as always, you can get 20% off using the code 2PINTS, all capitals, T-W-O-P-I-N-T-S. Um, and uh, yeah, they've, they've been great. They are, they're bringing some, hold on, they're bringing something new out, which which we should talk about. Is it the waterproof one? Or is that the one we've already yes. got? You can shave your ballots in the bath. Have we got? Is it that one? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> is that always waterproof that we've got? I don't know. I've never done it. I've never. The last thing you do is uh, listen. Have you put anything electrical in the bath? I've, I've always been told that's not a good idea. Well, yeah, me too. But like, if it's a waterproof <laughs> one, it should be all right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, oh yeah, here we are. Here we are. The Manscaped. Here it is. The Manscaped Lawnmower 3.0, uh, designed to reduce painful nicks and tugs. Oof. Painful nicks and tugs is not a. I don't mind a painful like tug. This... A painful tug, I'll handle. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to... <laughs> yeah, but not a painful nick. Yeah. I'll go through the pain barrier for a painful tug, not for a painful yeah. nick. <laughs> a painful nick, only if he buys you dinner first. Um, 
<laughs> so yeah, this is <laughs> this is the third generation trimmer, um, and it's uh, it's got skin safe technology. And is it is it waterproof? Except yes, waterproof about... technology. So you can shave in the shower. I did not know or that. Or the rain. Oh, or the rain. Walk into a shop. Or the, or the rain. <laughs> yeah, go outside in the street. <laughs> yeah, like, don't worry about anything. This is waterproof. <laughs> it's waterproof. Look at this, what I can do. Get your bollocks out in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice. Hey, hey, do you know what? This is going to yeah. go a bit off piece, but you know how I love a, I love a little fantastic fact or um, something that... I, th- I think is quite amazing, um, and and I didn't know existed. Um, and this is it's very random, but it's a bit of a connection to South Africa because obviously we was in South Africa uh, be- um, right mm-hmm. before the first part of lockdown. We're supposed to do this amazing driving show, and we were sent home after two days. We gutted. Hopefully, we'll do it well. Yeah. I just wanted to let you know about this. It, I like a walk, right? I go out for walks. And Mrs. Me and Mrs. It's just right. something you can do in lockdown that's safe. Plus. Just gets your head out of the house, doesn't it? You know, and I and I was looking at walks, yeah. and I, and this, this is the longest walkable thing you can do, right? Get this: the right. longest walkable road in the world is yeah. Let me just tell you, is from Cape Town to Magden, Russia, right? All right, there's bridges that cross rivers, right? And there's um. Wait, yeah. how do you get from South Africa? How do you get from yeah, the African you, you continent? You can walk it. You can walk it, right? Yeah, yes, you can cross rivers. There's no boats or air journey. Up. It's 22,000 kilometres, right? <laughs> it takes... That'll get you five, out of the house. It takes 587 days to walk it. Oh, my God. No, Eddie actually, Izzard will be doing that for Comet Relief next year. I know. It's just... Forrest Gump can't wait. I mean, it's just like... <laughs> it, 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 He's going to run it, mate. If you walk, it takes 587 uh, eight, seven days. That's walking eight hours a day and covers 17 countries. It's unbelievable. It to walk eight hours a eight, day. It covers six time zones. <laughs> no, 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 absolutely not. And the yeah, traveller... Like I just found this picture of us in South Africa. Yeah, there we are. Yeah. Look how happy we were. South Africa with a giraffe. With a giraffe. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was when, and that was when we were going, pandemic, it's not a film. It'll be fine as if everyone's well, going to be locked down. It's just the flu. One day later, we were on the flight home. <laughs> but this one, this walk, you go you go through all seasons of weather because it's that much of a difference. So you'll go literally through every oh, season. Oh, God, no. No, but that's a walk. It sounds horrendous. Can you believe, though, you can actually walk that far? That's just... Would you be I, into I'm, that? What a bollocks! Are you mad? I only walk up to the little local you farm love, to look you at the love horses. Walk. No, I love, love. Right, underlining just... love is a big word there. I just do it because there's nothing else. To <laughs> you piss love in. a walk. You no, mate. It. Hold on, I'm fr- Hold on. But I, I thought that was an interesting fact because I was looking on, at walks. On, what? What are you doing now? You turned off the light last night in your little room. There was a party moving. What? What are you doing now? Tell me what you just told me. Look what I found on my phone. <laughs> It was, you turned off the light last night in your little room. There was a batting room. And it, wait, and, and it went so dark, you got scared. So you what? You don't understand where my lodge is. You, I, I, you just tell me what you just said I'm about your own light, down there. About it's like a horror light. film where I'm staying. You have a night, a little night light that you take with you. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a speaker, so it gives white noise. You've got a night light, you child. <laughs> Aren't you 43? How much? you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I have a nightlight and a you speaker not- next to me bed, and the speaker gives <laughs> gives white noise, and it helps me sleep so it distracts. <laughs> I needed it that night because a bat was flapping around me, pissing ear holes. Mate, you were in that bat in your room. Honestly, I I would oh, I was crying for that. A bat, for a bat in the air and a frog on the floor between me pissing toes in one night. <laughs> yeah, no wonder you were quite happy to see that to hear about the frog landing on my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny, that. Oh, no. Uh, I'll tell you yeah. what I have got as well for us, because um, I just thought... Go on. Because I've got a few Would You Rathers, because um, we've not done this for a oh, while. Yeah, I remember on, we did Would You Rathers. No, let's hear it. In the first... Yeah, yeah and I always like I've got a some Would You Rather. i for you as well. You, you go Would You Rather, and then, and then I've got some stuff to, to enjoy for you. Go on. Would you rather be able to talk with the animals or to speak all foreign languages? All foreign languages. Really? All foreign languages, yeah. 
No, no, bollocks are that. Well, if you think about it, the idea... No, the idea of talking to the animals is a great idea. But the fact is, they're thick as shit. I mean, yeah, what conversation yeah. are you going to have? Well, Even dolphins right. are going to be like that. Fish, delicious, yum, <laughs> mm, fun. <laughs> yeah. What's the point in understanding that? Because I want to ask the dog next door why it's saying the same fucking thing over and over and over again. It goes, roar, roar, roar. I'd be like, what's important? Yeah, the answer you say to that, the same the answer thing to that. over and over. And but oh, mate, he's going, John, 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 John. I don't know. Right, but exactly. But but what what if it is? You've wasted that power on finding that out. Where do you go? Okay, okay, Mr. Genie. Yeah, instead of all foreign languages, give me the the ability to understand the dog. And then you go, brilliant. You run outside, and the dog's going, squirrel. Squirrel, squirrel, squirrel! You're like, I've wasted my talent. Yeah, but there might be some that are interesting. You never know. There might be some animals. No, that are very what are they going to talk to you about? I don't know. But I don't, I don't know. I, I they're very interesting. I'd but like to ask the cat. They're interesting, why you but they're not conversationalists, are they? I'd like to say to the cat, you know, shitting on my rug doesn't please me. So why are you still doing it? You know. Did you not notice when I kicked Although, you in the ass? Although, <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, cats being cats, your cat would look at you and go. Because I want to. Exactly. And what? what are you going to do? That's what cats would do. <laughs> cat, cat, cats. Do you know what yeah. they would? They would go, right. See, and dogs as well. And dogs, I, I'm sure, do you know, they, they must know and find it strange that the walking, because I always see this when I'm walking, when I'm driving down the road, because I've always loved dogs. But you think, it does look a bit weird, and I'm, I'm never going to get my head around it, when you see people walking with a dog and they've got a bag of dog shit in their hand. It never looks good. It just, <laughs> mate. The, and the dog mate, I'm thing. sorry. You're talking to me. This is this is my life now. No. This is my life. You're in lockdown. You go for walks with Michelle. I go for walks carrying little bags of dog shit around with me. And there's two dogs as well. And one of them is bigger than the other. So I have a big old good old kilogram bag. Yeah, with bag of sugar sized bag of dog shit, and then a little think, daintier one. And I carry them around. Going, there was a time I used to. Yeah. There was, there, was like, there was a time I used to drive around London in a Ferrari chatting up girls, and now I'm walking around with. Two bags of dog shit in my hand. And I think the dog must know. The dog must have a shit and go, right, go on, pick that up. Go on, pick the ass. And must say to his mates, yeah, watch what my owner does. He picks up my shit for me. Look at this, yeah, yeah get hold of that. You yeah, pick yeah, that yeah, up. Don't this. miss a bit. I, <clears throat> I thought there was Did a... you hear that um thing? Did you hear that clip on Australian Rate? There was a viral clip going around a couple of weeks ago to Auss- Aussie radio hosts. <laughs> this Aussie radio host was going, I've got to tell you about my, my jog this morning. He goes, go on. <laughs> so he goes, I'm running around. I'm running around the park. He said, I'm absolutely desperate, desperate for a, for a poo. It's just so desperate. It's turtling. It's properly crowning, right? <laughs> so it's like, I can't hold it any longer. It's burning. So he goes, I run off behind the bush. And, uh, and and I'm there so squatting behind this bush and I'm like oh thank god squatting and curled out this huge steamer behind a bush right anyway this dog bounds over woof woof bounds over and comes and starts trying to play with him and he's like go away go away he's trying to wipe his bum with a leaf and like, go away go away <laughs> Dot leaf. and he hears this noise <laughs> <laughs> he hears this noise and it's the dog's owner this little old lady coming over and he's like ah oh no so he finishes up finishes up pulls up probably he has to crimp it off early he's not quite ready but you know and he he he, he pulls the pants up and he's just like he has to like pre- pre- pretending to like do his hamstring stretches or whatever right and the woman comes up and she she goes oh oh and sees the massive pile of shit that he's next to and goes oh my dog loves coming back here does yours? And the guy says something like, yeah, my dog's just run off. And she goes, oh, well, don't worry. I'll take care of it. Gets out a bag and picks up his shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, man, what a great story. Do you know, there was oh, a, there's, I can't a, remember. I, there's a bloke around here, this old guy, and, I, and you've just reminded me of it. And it he... He's obviously quite old, so his eyesight's not great, and he's been putting his letters in the dog shit bin for ages. Do you know the bin? For, he thought it was oh, a postbox. Oh, bless him. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. They only found out when they came to clear. They found out, found all these letters. The bloke, he must have been thinking, no one gets back to me anymore. He's still doing letters, and he'd been putting his letters in the oh. dog shit bin. <laughs> oh, no. Bless him. <laughs> Can't return to sender. Oh, that's really sad. Oh, Has anyone God. told him? I think they found out now. Yeah, they must have returned the letters. I mean, I don't know. It, it, it covered in around. covered in shit. Yeah, is this your shit? <laughs> like Supernet <laughs> sending me shit oh, through the no. post. Oh, so funny. <laughs> 
Uh, all right, another. I'll get another. Would you rather out? Right. Uh, oh, yeah, we've only done one. Go on. Oh, that was funny. Oh, that was a great story. That. Okay, I'm not. I've not got my readers, so I'll. Uh, okay. Go on, get your bins. Put your bins on. Okay, okay. Well, let me just find one that's good. Would you rather lose your vision or your hearing? Um, I think, I think hearing, I guess it would be a bigger change in life to have to go through, to have to go through life with no vision than with no hearing. And actually, um, did you know this, that the, the deaf community, again, I don't want to make generalizations, but as I understand it, there are deaf community or large sections of the deaf community feel so, um, feel like they've, they've, they've adapted to a, to a different way of life as opposed to a lesser way of life. I hope I'm, please, if anyone's listening and I get this slightly wrong, I, I don't You're mean You're not trying to, to offend anybody. Me. Don't worry about it. No, no, no. I'm just trying to sort of phrase it right as I understand it. But that the certain members of the deaf community um, don't even like deafness being, um, or lack of hearing being referred to as a disability because they don't feel it's a disability. They don't feel it makes them less able to live their life. And in fact, they just feel like they have an almost sort of alternative lifestyle. Because, yeah. you know, they have sign language and they're all, and, and all that kind of thing. I think that's quite extraordinary. And, and, and I, I believe, uh, my, my missus was, was writing a, um, a, a, a film about a woman who, um, pr- a true story about a woman who progressively lost her hearing and sight. And um, I believe that that you can do a thing called a cochlear implant, which is um, it's sort of a, it's it's an implant that goes directly into the brain and uh, once uh, it basically removes any any organic hearing you might have had, but it gives you a sort of an electronic version of um, of hearing. And some people in the deaf community disapprove of cochlear implants because they sort of think it's, I for want of a better word, like cheating. I, I I don't know. It's a whole very very complicated Cheating. thing. But apparently, Cheating. That's, yeah, like it's it's like um, I I don't quite know. I I I'm afraid of having used the word cheating. I don't want to offend anyone, but like I get this. It's disapproved of in some way that I don't quite understand. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is that I've heard that large members of the deaf community are so kind of like um able to live full and rich lives that are slightly different from what they might normally be that they don't even consider it a disability. So that's the long answer, and the short answer is. Uh, hearing, I'd rather lose my hearing. This is what my my I, I've said this for a while, and, and I might be just being stupid, but do deaf people stay up dead late or something, like really late? Because the only time I ever see any sign language is at one o'clock in the morning on repeat programs, and there's someone doing sign language in the morning. <laughs> yeah. It's not two yeah, four in the morning. I think, what time do they go to bed? Is it, is it, who's it for? <laughs> is it so in the daytime? Nothing. <laughs> So they must sleep all day and get up like, what time? Getting up at 12, watching telly, because it's what time it starts. I just don't, what, <laughs> yeah. Why is well, it always party animals, about? aren't they, famously? <laughs> I don't understand. The deaf community is famously, they're all massive bar <laughs> business. I'm obviously, I'm obviously very ignorant to it, but the only time it's on, I put some on, it's a deaf one, and, it's, and, and there'll be a programme I've seen or something at one o'clock in the morning, and there'll be someone in the corner doing sign language. And I think, do they, only, is it, do they stay up late or something? What, what, what's the reason for that? Why don't they have a deaf channel yeah, that's on all yeah. day? You know what I'm saying? Well, that's actually not a bad idea. Yeah. I think, you know what? It's Any just occurred to me. I'm just replaying back what I... Any sponsors out yeah. there? I, I, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm just I, replaying I... back what I said <laughs> before, and I just suddenly realised I said, I don't want to offend any deaf people listening, yeah, which yeah, I feel yeah. like was, an act, was, was not a great sentence, so uh, yeah, yeah. sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah obviously. Yeah, yeah. 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 But we do, do, we do put subtitles on, uh, on our pod so people can watch and, uh, yeah. and still, still get involved. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Would you rather have bionic arms or bionic legs? Oh. Legs, I think. Legs, because Why? wouldn't it be awesome to just be able to run unbelievably fast and and jump dead high? Yeah, but, rather than just like lift heavy stuff up. Yeah, but I'd just love to throw a car at someone. <laughs> well, there is that. That'd be ace. Yeah. Just like shut yeah. it. What are you gonna do? I'll fucking throw this mini at your head in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Also, don't you like the fact that as soon as we heard the word bionic, we immediately went to like superheroes. Whereas they can actually do they can actually do like 
prosthetic arms now that do move with your brain, which I guess yeah. you could consider yeah. bionic. That's and like, normal, yeah. they're just happy to be able to like pick up a pen and have a normal functioning life. <laughs> Me and you are like, I want to, I want to run faster than a train and throw a mini at someone. <laughs> That's the difference. You see, That's because we're childish. Because we still have mm-hmm. minds of a seven-year-old child. Because the first thing I yeah. thought about yeah. legs was jumping over buildings. And the other thing about yeah, exactly, cars yeah. is arms was picking up cars. It had nothing to do with just being able to <laughs> exactly. use my arms. <laughs> so, yeah, to live a, a full life. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Hey, hey, talk about it. Wasn't he that... Go on, um, then. You got any more? That guy on tw- oh. well, wasn't he that guy on Twitter who, who got uh, uh, that we were talking about who can run 19... Miles an hour or kilometers an hour was that? It just went viral this week. Hey. Um, oh yeah, hold on, let's have a look. It was. I want to know what what that was about because I know it, it went massive on Twitter. It was um, some some lad. Was it a, a lad? He, <laughs> here we are. No, it's it's. Um, Is he got bionic this, legs? This video. No, <laughs> no, it's this video of uh, three or four people um, running ninety miles per hour plus. Show it to you. What do you mean? On a track? Oh. Yeah. No, on a running machine. Oh, right. All the females. I know that sounds bad that I'm surprised, but my God. They're like shit off a shovel, them, aren't they? But here's the thing. I I find it difficult to... I can't... I'm like, oh, 19 miles per hour. And then I'm like... Is that fast? I, I don't know. I just I don't know what miles per I just hour is normal. Surely Usain Bolt runs faster than that, isn't it? I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. I've, I've been chased that. by a dog yeah. once, and I'm telling you now, that dog was not catching me. You ran at 75 miles per hour. <laughs> my feet was barely touching the ground. I turned my cap round and went for full aerodynamics. That dog, they did, do you know what they did? Uh, I, I had to go and do this. I, was, I went to prison in Barbados for this documentary. And they said, oh, we've got, yeah, yeah, we got yeah. these prison dogs. And they said, you can teach you how to use a sleeve. Do you know when you get them dogs, they go and they chase you, and then they eat the yeah, sleeve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, you have to give them the sleeve. So they said, "You start running, and we'll set the dog off." Mate, that dog was knackered because when that dog's running, you find a hyper speed. You suddenly find <laughs> speed that you didn't yeah. know you had because the fear of that dog getting <laughs> on your ass. I was oh, it was just <laughs> dust. I gone. I turned around. The dog was like, "Ah, oh, fucking, I'm not give us a give us a biscuit." I went to him. It was yeah, he'll be all right. I was you'll, gone. You'll catch him at the fence. In the end, I went, come on then, can we get this? He was too tired to bite me. I was like, give rub your belly. Honestly, I was up. And I'm telling you now, it's amazing. It's like you get these people, you know, like you, people who have been in certain situations, like a car's rolled over and you've got your kids in it, and they find superhuman strength. Oh, yeah, you hear strength. about that. Some, yeah. yeah, superhuman strength, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you never know what you're capable of, and you only find out in, the, in them darkest moments when you really need to do it. So, you know, maybe piss me off, and you might see me throw a mini through the air. You never know. I might just be able to do it. Exactly. I might have been I've been working on it for it. about... I've, I've been working on it for about 20 years now, but I've never quite riled you up enough. But I'll, I'll keep trying. Uh, yeah. Usain Bolt, by the way, top speed apparently 27.44 miles per hour. So why has that gone viral then? And why is everyone talking about that when Usain Bolt's obviously quicker? And quite a lot quicker. I'd, I'm not sure. Isn't I mean, they're strange? obviously very, very fast. They're obviously very, very fast. But I remember watching it going... Is like this not to denigrate like their achievement because clearly they're very fast. But it was suddenly it was the fact that it was like maybe it was the fact that it said 19 miles per hour, and I'm like I have no frame of reference for that. But maybe in the world of speed running and speed training, um, 19 miles per hour is like a milestone. I would imagine that's probably the, really? the big deal. And by the way, they fast, were though. they were booking as well. Well, they were, but it doesn't. Does, does it? But that's because you're in a car going. This isn't you, very fast. I tell you, what, if you're listening to this now, when you're at the light, set off and get to 19 mile an hour and see if anyone overtakes you <laughs> on the road, like on the path. <laughs> yeah, and walking. You'll know, yeah, walking. Just walking. <laughs> <laughs> All people going. What are you doing? Get going. <laughs> um, go on. You got any more? What? Oh yeah. Would you rather? Would you rather? Yeah, I'll have a look. Yeah, I've got some here. I'm just trying to find the good ones because some of them are just stupid. Like, would you rather meet George Washington right. or the current pe- president? It's like, what? Well, it's just boring, uh, that. Uh, yeah, would you rather not give a shit? Exactly. <laughs> Either way. Would um, you rather I mean, I would have listen... had an opinion on that in the previous president. Yeah, yeah. This, 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 as I say, this, I just Googled them, you know, and some of them are good. Do you know what? The, the ones that are the best ones are the ones that people send us in because they come up with some horrendous stuff. Like, yeah, here's one that mm. I got asked. Here's one that I got asked, and it's horrible. So, listen, don't judge me. But would you rather have sex with one of your parents once 
or watch them do it for the rest of your life every day? <laughs> That's horrendous, isn't it? Someone asked me that, and I was like, I can't answer it. You have to answer. I said, it's impossible. It's not, there's no right answer to this. It's <laughs> so what did you say? I can't answer it. I can't do it. Come on, you can't. can't you definitely got an opinion. I, I can see. I can see you've got an opinion. I don't. I don't. I don't feel well as it is today. And now it's just going to tip me over the edge. I've got one beer in me. I had a little perk up, and I've just mentioned that, and I feel a bit. I feel a bit sick now. No, I, I, I'm going to leave it out there for the public to have a chat about because I think I'm going to sit on the fence. That's, don't fight me out of it. You don't answer it. Go on. Go on. You, you go answer. first and I'll answer. Bar lurks. You Bar go lurks. I just so seen what well. you suddenly, it's like a tennis match. I, I sent it over the net and you just sent it straight back. You didn't even get hold of it. Come on. I don't right. think about I admit, that one. Okay. I'd rather. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. I'd rather I'd rather have sex with one of your parents. Right. What ones? Yeah, your mum. My mum? Oh, my don't, parents! Are you mad? Don't mention my parents. Don't mention my mum. What's wrong with you? We're not going to mum jokes. Yet. Jesus Christ. Your mum listens to this. She'll punch your head in. <laughs> You're the one. You'll throw a mini at me. <laughs> oh, you'll see a mini come flying no. into Florida. No, I'm... Uh... <laughs> I go, his, arm, his arms aren't even bionic. <laughs> I just pissed him off enough, finally, after 20 years. No, no, oh, no, no. I, no. You don't pay. You know what I'm saying? You just swerved it there with that one. Ugh. Oh, yeah, it's... Yeah, it's, I it's, think it's, I'm going to swerve that one. It's it's really, really, really tough. All right, here's one. Would you have... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you... Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, what, would you rather what, have? What, what? Would you rather have dicks for fingers, or or? <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Before you even carry on, why, why have I got dicks for fingers? What? How? By what <laughs> surgical procedure? <laughs> by what surgical procedure? Explain the backstory of how I've ended up oh. with dicks. Whose dicks are they, by the way? Have they been removed from other people? Have you, have, you, have you, ten people had to lose their dicks for me to have finger dick fingers? Would you no? Oh, you're just dear. born a bit freakish. You've just born with loads of dicks on your fingers. So you got you got with, right, you got okay. dick fingers, or a finger for a right. dick. <laughs> Do you know? Because you think uh, you can please a lot of people finger, with dick uh, fingers. Hey, you know what you're doing. You can please a lot of people with a finger for a dick. <laughs> you can carry your ball for a dog and throw it up the road if you want. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, oh my god! Yeah, a finger for a dick. Yeah, it could do a lot of tickling. And well, and also, the thing is, you, you could also, you, know, you could also, you're, you're, in, you're in charge of who sees it. You could also beckon the wife over to the bed with your dick. You could give her the curly finger. Come here, you tweet art. <laughs> yeah, and then get your mate, and then get your mate with ten dicks for fingers to help out. <laughs> It's not me. For Valentine's it's, Day. It's no, you haven't got a mate. You know, there's not two of you. you. You can't have a mate that's got dicks for fingers. You've got a finger for the dick. That doesn't that's not how it works. So what are you what are you dicks for fingers or a finger for a dick? Yeah, well it depends, doesn't it? Because oh yeah. Oh, I'd, I'd, I'd have to, it'd have to be a big finger. I can't have no little pinky finger. <laughs> you just, don't get to pick the size. Oh, that's it's a little just finger. stupid. You can't do that. Because imagine if it's your pinky finger and you say, yeah, I'll have the finger open, it's the middle one, and, you've, and you look, you're built like Jeff Capes, and you end up with some well, tiny little, little con finger. Conversely, conversely, you don't get to choose the size of the dicks of your fingers as well. What if you have like 10 tiny little <laughs> stubby fingers? And also, what happens if you're in the middle? Oh my God. What happens if you're in the middle of like playing the piano or something, right? <laughs> and then suddenly you see a picture of like <laughs> Pamela Anderson walk past and all your, all your fingers go boing. <laughs> You're trying. You play the piano. You're a you're a concert pianist with dicks for fingers, and suddenly you're 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 a laughing stock. But if you're a cricketer, he's a oh, great yeah. catcher. He's got nine inch fingers on every hand, <laughs> and then you suddenly yeah. see someone in the yeah. crowd who. But only you know, occasionally. You only know, imagine you only see you see someone in the crowd. You know what these the cricket matches? You always get someone some girl who whips her boobs out or the football. You'd be like, oh, he's dropped the ball. He's dropped it. Yeah, because all his fingers have gone hard. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, and all the blood's rushed out of his head. Oh, so funny. Oh, I, I wanted to show you this. What? You see the woman who went viral on, on TikTok for having a massive finger. What? <laughs> She's got a massive <laughs> finger? 
<laughs> How big is it? She's got a giant. She's got a giant finger. Oh, uh, how Look big at is that. it? That's not real. That. <laughs> That's not real. It's about a foot long. E.T. would yes. be ashamed of that. E.T. would yeah. be like, that's a big finger. <laughs> yeah, E.T. would be like, that's too much, yeah. She's got a dick finger. Look at the size of it. It's about five inches long. <laughs> she has got a dick finger. Oh, my God. Oh, she's giving the biggest bird ever. She's flicking the biggest bird that you've is ever exactly seen. That is It's five inches long. Five inches? That's a five-inch finger. So yeah. it's a, a middle a finger's that. five inches long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She can make herself sick and tickle her ass at the same time. <laughs> Although, why she would want to do either, and particularly at the same time, is anybody's guess. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so oh, funny. Yeah. Oh, do you know what? We have got oh, simple. Okay. I'm sorry if everyone's anyone really intelligent listening to this thinking, why have I tuned into this? I'm sorry, but we we can get a bit childish at times. What Honestly, is the me correct up way? What is the correct way to cut a sandwich? What triangles? Triangles or halves? Um, do you know what? If I got triangles, I'd feel a bit posher. Do you know, like if, if yeah, if yeah, I, I, I'm like if I do it myself, I do it across ways. But if I buy it. I'd like, I like it when it's across. It seems to be, I don't know why. You it's... expect a triangle, yeah. Yeah. Well, here's a little life hack for you, a little revelation, because I saw this on Twitter and I saw the thread. And somebody put this. They they cut it like this, which is not quite half and not quite a triangle. Oh, no. But here's the thing. Not sure. Their point is, well, it doesn't look nice, but the point is um, that when you cut it in a triangle, like, the, you know, the ends flop down and, like, bits fall out. That holds it all perfectly. Oh, does it? So I'm I'm a fan of the I'm a fan of the asymmetric triangle cut, whatever the hell that is. Oh, yeah, 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 I get. I know what you there mean, you though. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. And uh, yeah, I wanted to show you this. Did you, ever see, did you see the? Um, I've got one. Should play you this clip. Um, I want to play you this clip of the. Um, did you see? The, have you ever? <laughs> did you see the dramatic dog getting its nails cut? Oh, it was so funny. It was so funny. Let's I saw play it. it. I Let's saw play it. it. Stick, put it on. It's the funniest thing. Here we go. Here we go. It's the funniest thing. <clears throat> oh, anybody hey, listening to this will give you the link. That, I didn't know that, that a dog could make this noise. It's not I didn't that. Know it was even it's possible. not that. I didn't know that dogs could foresee what was about to happen. So, so I thought they felt pain as pain happened. It's like it knew pain was going to come. Even though it wasn't going to be painful, it was like I expected it. That's what's so. That's what's so funny. It was the drama of it because it's not painful at all, but it was so. <laughs> and also, it had already had all of its other paws cut as well. Had it? Oh, it was. Oh, this... It was very funny. Oh, Where no. is it? Right here we are. Right, I've, I've got it. Here we go. Watch this. Watch this. We have like one and a half more to go. I know. It's here hard. he goes. The dog's about okay. to get his nose. Get his nose. <laughs> Hug. Hug. You have to stop. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dramatic. Okay. This bit's the best. <laughs> Bless him. That's the dog screaming. Bless him. Who knew dogs could Bless scream? Bless him. Oh, we'll send you the link. What is he so we'll put the link on so you can see it. Oh, it's funny. What What is he so scared? It's not painful at all. Bless him. This yeah. funny little. But it, I, why Why is that so funny to us? Is I guess it's because it reminds us of toddlers, right? It reminds us of toddlers having like a screaming dramatic yeah. tantrum. Yeah. And just going. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so funny. Yeah, very funny. Have you ever watched a load of those '90s films that that I'm not talking about the absolute greats? The you know your um. Terminator, Terminator, Tattoo, sure, Terminator. Sure, Asian, sure, sure. But I'm not, yeah, I'm not talking about the greats, greats. I'm talking about like just a lot of the usual ones that you used to think were great. Mate, you go back and look at them again. They were pretty, pretty poor. Like, yeah. n- like script wise, narrative, story wise, they weren't great. Yeah. And I think the audiences have become really sophisticated now because we expect more. Now you look at the, the Marvel films and the, the, especially the really good Marvel films, even if it's not your thing, superhero movies, like, the sheer, like, the ambition of them and the scale of them and the, the, the skill of bringing all that together. Yeah. Action sequences, bits of comedy. And I think that, that we are an, a more sophisticated audience. And that's only good news for, for us because it just means that shows have to keep getting better and better. Well, yeah, it's true. And because we've got accessibility to so many 
so many platforms now and so many things and you know yeah. it's just it's huge and I'm watching a, a program at the moment my mum just watched it and she told me it's, it's called Your Honour with Brian Cranston oh I'm only two episodes in it's unbelievable yeah it, that's my next I, one it literally I, I finished episode two last night and we had to I said can we watch something we had to go and watch some cartoons or something it was just it's not that it's yeah. graphically heavy I mean the first no but just the tense, first epi- tense the first episode is Quite shocking. I mean, I must admit, it, it, it will. You know, it's it's quite mm-hmm. heavy, but it has to be to set it up. But my, oh, it's yeah. so tense, and it's just a brilliant. And he's super. Did you I, hear that um, Anthony Hopkins message Brian Cranston and said, "I've just binge watched Breaking Bad." And I saw the message. It's beautiful, isn't it? It said, "You're ge- it's just genius." The, be- the best went from dark ever, comedy. The best to- acting I've ever yeah. seen in my life. Yeah. yeah. Imagine getting that off Anthony yeah. Hopkins. That uh, wouldn't be bad, would it? Wouldn't You'd be, be all right with that. No. I think he probably tried that with two pints, but for some reason it didn't get to us. Yeah. I, it got to I me. Don't know Did why. you not get the message? I got it. Oh, mine. no. Did you get it? Thanks. Yeah. Oh, good, good. That's yeah. all right. I think, think no, you've well, been I'll out tell by a shark by then. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what. I just watched um, Hunters. Have you seen Hunters? No. Al Pacino. It's on Amazon. Um, Al Pacino um, heads up a gr- in, this, in the uh, 70s, heads up a group of um, Jewish people hunting down Nazis living in the States. It's what? absolutely brilliant. That's brilliant. That reminds me a bit Full about... Full of twists, Ingl- dark. Inglorious Bastards. It's a, it's exactly like that. That's the whole yeah. point. It's like, it's a sort of slightly alternative history, but slightly p- playing into real historical events. It's brilliant. After you've finished with your honour, go for Hunters. Yeah, we'll really do. I, mean, I think, I think uh, Inglorious Bastards, that scene when he's sat with him and he knows he's hiding yeah, Jewish people oh. under his floorboards, and you know he knows... And he's yeah. sat there just playing with him and toying with him. And that scene is just incredible. And he's so friendly. And he's so friendly. That's what gets and you, see, Christoph he, he Waltz. What changes. a performance that is. He is a yeah. genius, that actor. Oh, I mean, I love him in Django as well. And he's just yeah. done loads of great class. He's a phenomenal yeah. actor. Phenomenal. Well, he has won two Oscars. I mean, he's pretty widely recognised. But he deserves it because I, I, I don't yeah, think... Yeah, definitely. I don't think he made it till late. I think he was just a jobbing no. actor. And I think... Yeah. Was, I think was it, was it um, Quentin Tarantino who spotted him and went, you... Yeah, I think it was his... um, it was Inglorious Bastards that made his name. Yeah, sensational actor Christoph Waltz. Love him. Yeah, 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 genius. Love him. Um, well, that's, I think I think, that's I think I'm today, done. Yeah, we I wrapped mean, up, aren't we? It was a strange one. It was a bit of hit, hit there and everywhere, but that's what we we're about. We don't tend to plan anything, and um, you get what you get. I, I hope you enjoyed it. I like it. it. I like it's basically checking in about once a week just to have a natter and a chat. Um, especially since no one can go to the pub. Yeah. What, what else? What else would we want? I'm, I'm, it's great. In fact, not only is this. Um, not only is this like good for our podcast, it's it's good for our mental health. It's really nice to be able to just check in with you for an hour, hour or so at a time. Well, I'll tell you and just what, catch I, up and I definitely needed a laugh, and I I literally cried laughing at, at some of them would you rather's, and it's oh, yeah. so funny. Good random chat. Good. I tell you what, it was a bit weird. I never uh, I mentioned because do you know obviously lockdowns coming to an end, and, and everyone's sort of saying, "Can we fly away?" I've just saw in the news that they're talking about now Germany might be going into a third lockdown. Uh, they're saying mm-hmm. cases are rising, and they're talking about people. Will they be able to? Travel to, to to um, to Europe uh, and whatever else, and I'm planning to go to the Caribbean. I was supposed to go last year, and the flights got cancelled, obviously. But we've, we've rebooked it again for July. So hopefully, we can go. But I was looking. Where are you going? Uh, to see Michelle's family in Grenada, uh, mum and dad. And my oh, kids haven't been close, since they were babies. Is that so. any? Is that close to um, Guadeloupe? Come say hi. I'm all right. I'm going on holiday. I'm going to go and watch you filming. Am I sweating? Ballot. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I'll come say hi to you, shall I? Yeah, you can pop over to me. I'll be sat in a bar somewhere. You can bollocks and watch you. I've, I've just come to watch Ralph do a bit of filming. I brought my notebook. Come on, I I've got a day ticket to be on Death in Paradise set. Uh, listen, I was, uh, and what I was getting to is, have you heard about this? What Gatwick, because obviously the airports and things that have been shut down are trying to recoup money everywhere. You know, mm-hmm. it's, everything's going to be stupid money. Now, apparently at Gatwick, do you know there's a drop-off point where you drop people off? Well, yeah. They're going to charge a minimum of £5 to anybody to drop the... So if so, you, so you should be able to drive up, drop off and drive away. Yeah, so... They're putting a charge why? on that. So, so, so what are you supposed to do otherwise? Like, no, park a mile away and walk up with your cases? Well, that's what they're doing. So, so you either pay in the car park which, or to just drop off. But that means if you get a cab to drop you off, that means your cab is going to be at least a minimum of five pounds more. A five pound extra. Wow. I think it's a joke, man. I think come That's on, man. Shocking, People have had it hard enough. But they, and, wow. and then, do you know what? If it works, 
it will spread like wildfire. That's the problem. That, That's the problem. Because they're yeah. thinking, right, how can we make money? Where are we not making money? Well, people are dropping people off, right? Hit them there. People who are getting lifts. Mm-hmm. I mean, who pays it? That means that's if someone like, drops you off, yeah, you like Ryanair pay. charging. That's like Ryanair charging to use the toilet on their flights. Hey, <laughs> shut like, up. Don't say it on here. They'll be, that'll be happening. How no, much? they already do. What? They already do, right? There's a famous thing, Ryanair charged to use the toilet on their you flights. You are joking me. No, that's that's been a thing for years. Oh, my God. God, I didn't know that. <laughs> is it more for a shit? I don't, yeah, imagine. Is it? You'd just shit all over the floor, <laughs> wouldn't you? <laughs> no, no, but seriously, can you imagine? Uh, is it number one or number two? Why, why are you asking? Yeah, yeah. It's five pounds for one, it's ten pounds for two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If it's one, and it's, you, you can pay, a, you can pay a, like a discount and just go in this cup. That would definitely right get me to, I'd get toilet. me angry up enough to throw a mini. I'm telling you now, someone yeah, charged me. Yeah, there you me. go. Imagine having a, having a wife that's pregnant. Excuse me, my wife. She, I, I, I haven't got any money. I haven't got any euros on me. Well, I'm sorry. Nah, mate. Here we go. I'm just checking. That can't be true. Yeah, I mean, it was a while ago. I don't know if they still do, but yeah, from 2010, they were charging a pound or a euro to use the toilet. Well, do you know what? They, remember, they were doing that in train stations years ago. Aren't they? Remember, they used to do that. Mm-hmm. But in train stations, it's not the same because you can go elsewhere. If you're on a plane, there's not much anywhere you're, you're else done. you can go. Exactly. Other than there. Mm-hmm. Other than you go, well, if you, if I can't go to... Have you got any cups, love? Have you got a spare cup there? Can you have some cups? Yeah. I'll just sit yeah. here and pee in a cup. That doesn't oh, make sense. Oh, here's something. Here's something that's interesting. Um... Have you heard about? Are you in? Do you give? You don't really care. You're not into like all superhero stuff, are you? Or do you like? Well, I like it the boys. Like that kind of superheroes. Oh, the boys know, is amazing. Best thing on television. Um, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Um, have you heard about this recut of the Justice League, the Superman Batman film? I don't watch it. Jaden, my son watches it. Jaden, I don't watch it. It's just interesting because I never watched the. I didn't like the um, Batman versus Superman. So so. Marvel really, as we all know, really nailed it. Like over twenty-three films over eleven years, they did fantastic. Um, this, in- yeah, they did this incredible. Hold on, just got to plug my computer in. It's about to die. Um, but they really sort of got the formula right, and every time it looked like it was going to stagnate, they got a new director in with a new vision. Taika Waititi did Ragnarok, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like just brilliant. So DC of DC Comics, which is Batman, Wonder Woman, um, Superman, have slightly struggled to find their tone and slightly struggled to match it. Yeah. And in my opinion, and some people disagree, but Batman versus Superman a few years ago was was just not, it didn't really work and I, I wasn't for I'm it. Sorry. Anyway. I'm sorry, but the fact you're going what? to have a fight with a man who's a billionaire in a suit against the most powerful man in the world who's... Who can fly, who can fly and is stronger than anything. He, could just, he literally could just use his breath to blow you over and Batman wins. Does Batman win apparently? He's got a load of it, bollocks. It was a bit like that, yeah. It's a, it's a, man, so, it's a rich um, man in a suit against an alien who can do whatever he feels like. He could, he could flick him to death and win. It's a load yeah, of shit. It, it, it is a bit that. Yeah. But that aside... Um, right, that aside. <laughs> that aside, they did a film, they did uh, The Justice League, which was the coming together of Aquaman, uh, Wonder Woman, Batman, Superman, and um, who's the other? The Flash, right? And they did it. And I never watched it. Never watched it. But by all accounts... It was a disaster. And Zack Snyder was in charge of it all. He was doing it. And then he walked off the project and they parachuted in Joss Whedon, who was the success behind Buffy the Vampire Slayer and um, Avengers Assemble. And he recut it and did the best he could with it and put it out. And by all accounts, a disaster. Never seen it, but that's what everyone said. There was a big social media movement because they'd heard that Zack Snyder, the original director, said, this film is nothing to do with what I wanted to make. It's not even close to what I wanted to make. I've washed my hands of it. And this big social media movement started with people going, let Zack Snyder do a cut of this film and release it. And because it was so big on social media, Warner Brothers ponied up 70 million to let him take all of his original footage and new CGI and recut the film to make a completely new film. And it's just been released. And get this, what? reviews are amazing. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Isn't that weird? Wow. Isn't I mean it's four hours long. Well, uh, can, I, can I can I just rewind? <laughs> but no the one while? else is. No one's got anything to do. <laughs> can I rewind the wow and go fuck that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, yeah. thank you. Four hours no. long. No, 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 no. Do you know Jaden got no. me to watch that one with Thanos? That was long enough. What was that one? Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Infinity War was yeah, it? Yeah, that was long. Uh, end, end but game. it was good. It was long. Yeah. But it was good. Four hours. No. I remember when I went to watch no. Hamlet once. <gasps> What was I doing? <laughs> I got invited to the premiere. And do you know when you're just starting out in acting and stuff? And I, I got invited and I thought, ooh, 
Kenneth Branagh's going to yeah, go okay, there. I'll, go. I'll turn up. Yeah. I, I'll tell you now, I will, I got nudged because I was snoring by someone next to me. <laughs> someone went, I went, what? They went, you're snoring. I was like, what? <laughs> the prem, Hamlet. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god. Which which Hamlet was it? Kenneth, was Kenneth Hamlet. Branagh it was, wasn't it? It was, ah! it was made up for hours. It went for hours. I didn't know what the, I didn't know what they were saying after ten minutes. Never mind. Three and a half hours. Oh, I was like, for God's sake. You're not even talking English. What are you doing? I don't even understand oh, what you're saying. You're, su- you're such a purist, aren't you? Oh, you're such man. a purist actor. Oh, God. I was looking for the exit after 15 minutes. I was thinking, how can I get out of here? Oh dear. In the end I just went I to just, sleep. But- <laughs> <laughs> and then snored. Yeah, I just think it's interesting. It's we we are now living in a in a different age. Really, I'm, I've never heard of public pressure making a studio go. All right, we'll re-release an, the film in a different format, and yeah. that being a success. I just think that's interesting, and I wonder what the yeah. if that will have repercussions on the industry. Very going interesting, forwards. amazing, interesting, really yeah. interesting. The fact they can they can just oh, we'll give you seventy million to go and redo it. Well, and it looks like it's going to be a success. Yeah, well, it looks like it's going to be a, a, an give investment people what that they pays want. off. Well, again, yeah. we're talking about things that haven't worked. You remember, I mean, how much money it must have cost and how bad it was when they did Cats, the film, the movie Cats. It was. I didn't see it. Oh God! It was, it was. It was. It was not only but the trailer offended me. I was like, "What the? F- are they people? Are they cats? I ain't got a clue. What the fuck? What's going on?" <laughs> it, and James Corden's wangled himself in that one for a change. He's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> we need we need a fat cat. Get James Corden on the phone. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's in everything. Honest to God, it was. Honest, it was just strange. Where does he find the time? Oh, he's got a full time job. He's in everything. Good luck to him. <laughs> I don't you know how he manages me. it. And also, <laughs> what I found out last night, just as we got, as we're on the news bulletins of the uh, end of the show, show is I found out last night that um, Kanye West, I think, is worth seven billion. That's insane. I think he's, I know it doesn't matter what colour you are, but I think he's the richest black man in the world. I know it doesn't that, matter, but that's what the headline that, was. That's not me saying is that. It. Um, that's got to be from his trainers, it right? It is, yeah. I mean, it easy. Yeah, not. Yeah, not so much his. I mean, his music obviously is what put him in the first. But his music will have netted seven, him millions. It's between four or four or seven. You can Google it. I think it's seven bil- billion. I mean. That's insane. I just. I was trying to get my head around it for about ten minutes last night. How much money that is, and it's just. God. No, it's it's insane. How can insane. one person have that much money? How is that? Also, God. I wouldn't want it. I would. I I'd, wouldn't. I'd help people out. You've got to do something, haven't you? I mean... Ah, no, I wouldn't want it. You, no, no one needs it. No one needs it. No one needs one bill. You can't spend it. Yes, you I know. You cannot well, spend there's it. There's a lot of people you could help. I know you'd have a go. I'd have a go. I'd still be after a little... I'd still be after a deal everywhere, I'll tell you that. I'd still be looking for an angle. Don't you worry. What do you mean it's 1.5 billion? Can you do it for 1.3? I've got to it's just, you know, I'm, I just think, you, uh, yeah, nobody needs that money. You're totally right. It's no, ridiculous. You don't. Especially when there's poverty in the world and there's people who, who can't eat and you've got 7 billion. It just doesn't make sense how the graph doesn't work. Come on, no. can we not balance it up and let's just spread it out of it? It's just ridiculous. Well, haven't we got, I think we've got more you know, billionaires in, in history now than ever, which we've got more disparity of wealth, the richest kind of whatever yeah. percentage it is, yeah. own the same as like the rest of the world, which and, is and, ridiculous. And, and, and it's funny, the government, how the tax works, that the super rich, their tax isn't going to go up, but but everyone in the middle, their tax is going to go up. Well, how does that work? The, That's the just thing stupid. Is, when That's you think keeping to yourself, us where we are and keeping them where they are. Yeah. When you think to yourself, if someone's got 5 billion, or call it 100 million, and you go... They go, oh, they want to take 70 million in tax off me. You go, geez, that is actually a lot, That's 70 a million. One, I mean, yeah. I'm making these numbers up, right? Mm-hmm. You do, you go, wow, that is a lot to take off someone's 70 million. But then when you remember that if you've got 30 million left, you can still do anything you want for the rest of your life. You, you can't spend, the only way you can spend 30 million pounds is if you start lavishly buying stupid stuff like going oh I need another wing on the house I better have a gold toilet hmm I need seven more you can buy you islands know. for 100 million well that's what I mean it's like but but I, and, and, and I I believe and I think this is backed up by research but I, I wish I could quote it but I can't but I seem to remember seeing like a graph of this it's like once you've got a certain amount of money they say money doesn't buy happiness. Well, that's not necessarily true because money certainly buys you security, which follow, happiness follows and all that kind of thing. So they said that once people earn a certain amount of money, 
and they get security, the, the graph of their happiness grows and like goes up like this. And then once the money increases, it sort of plateaus and they don't get any happier. And then once the money increases more, they start to get less happy. Yeah. So if, if you're not any happier for having m- more money, why do you need it? Some people, a lot of people just have it for the sake of having it. And th- this is a question I was going to ask you. Uh, I know we're going into a bit off piece, but that's what we do. Is because I know you, um, the NHS, the one percent pay rise. Uh, I, I I just don't understand oh, how how they can do what they've done as a government going. The NHS, uh, clap for the NHS. Hey, they even stand with save, protect the NHS on you know on their plinths when they're giving us their bullshit. Yep. And then they they give them a one percent pay rise. And do you see how much money they spent on track and trace? Do you see how much money they not yep. only spent wasted yep. that not only. Yep. That their friends all had their hands in. That, that have you noticed who's got like David Mellor's a part of it, and there's loads of people who've all got that. So they all paid themselves, but they won't give the the NHS who kept this country going and alive, and that we're all supposed to be. Oh, can you go and clap for him? Yeah, clap because that's for free. Won't even give more than a one percent pay rise. How is that? Yeah. How is that? How did Mate, they? And they'll get away with it. Bro? They'll get away. No, I don't understand it. I, but they'll get away with it. Well, I, I don't the NHS could easily with. go on strike and then go, well, then see how you get on fucking now. You know what I'm saying? Like the police do and fire But do you know what thing. happens is any anytime the NHS go on strike or they threaten strike, then the papers kick into gear to go, oh, looks like these greedy doctors and nurses are at it again. And then a load of pricks come on my Twitter when I'm going, this is ridiculous. And everyone comes at me on Twitter going, it's, they should be willing to do it for free. It's supposed to be a calling. Really? It's like, yeah, yeah. why but should they do it for free? Do you do your job for free? It's not that. They're on the front line. If there's a disease they're that's spreading, the they're line. putting themselves right in amongst it. I just think if anybody needed the biggest pay rise ever not the worst it's the fucking nhs come on man it's just and this this is another question maybe maybe i'm being stupid but we print money so how can we run out of it how can we not have enough why can't we just print some more do you know this is another question that i never understand is there a limit you're allowed uh, to well have? i'm i'm no economist but the problem with that is do you know what it they then say? devalues, you're a, you're a trillion then devalues all the money that you've got if you print too much and then it becomes you then you get hyperinflation but surely the, the Queen's got a printing press. You can just go, oh, they have some more. We're going to print some more there. Give that the NHS. <laughs> I, don't, I, it's, I know it's a bit stupid, but that's how my brain works. I think, well, why don't we just make some more money then? Print some more. Listen, we're we're something like three yeah, trillion in debt. Trillions. But we, mate, I if, don't get it. It just baffles me. When, when, there are, when, when there's that disparity of wealth and, you know, just tax, just tax us. Tax us properly. Tax people who can be taxed properly. I don't like I'm happy that to idea. pay my tax. Don't tax me. I mean, I'm, ha- I'm happy to pay, pay my tax. I'm not saying it doesn't stink tax every time Ralph. I do it. I go, Listen, Ralph said tax him, not me. Yeah, I'm not involved. And you, in tax you too. No, I'm all right. I get taxed enough. Tax the fucking super rich. Tax them more. Yeah. Stop whooping my tax. Tax everybody. For what? Tax everybody fairly. Look, no. I don't mind being taxed fairly, and the, the poorest people don't mind being taxed fairly because fairly means not very much in their case. What everybody has a problem with, or should have a problem with, is as you say, people getting super rich and super rich aren't taxed fairly. They're barely taxed at all. It's just exactly. bullshit. Exactly, they've got enough money to avoid it. That's the point, and if they and they know it. Ah, right, anyway, I know we're going on to that bollocks, but you know. It was on my mind, so I said it. That's how I feel. No, fair. Let's get behind the NHS, people. We all know what how good they are out there, and the government have shafted them again. And they keep encouraging us. Why don't we go and clap again? No, why don't you pay yeah, them? Bollocks. Stop I'll tell you this much. It's, it was a nice idea, but claps doesn't put food on the table for frontline NHS workers. Exactly. Um, exactly. Uh, fair pay does. Exactly. So I'm happy to, yeah. Exactly. We'll call it a day there. Listen, have a great day, whatever you're doing, uh, if you're listening or watching. Thanks for tuning in, and thanks for the support for the 1 million listens and 30 odd million views, whatever. I mean, it's yeah. just incredible. So thank you very Amazing. much. Amazing. Still haven't got a beer sponsor, you tight bastards. But, you know, <laughs> thank you very much for your support out there. <laughs> See you later, mate. See you later. I'm going to end with a fart gun. <laughs> Thanks. See you in a bit. Keep the tone. Stay safe, people. Till out.